Um, what do you got in the rundown next year? I think I'm supposed to go, aren't I? Yeah, get lost. I'll pick it up from here. Where, where are you going, actually? You want to tell the people where you're going? Yeah, I got to go cut the rest of my highlight, my, the Maryland highlight that's coming. It's a fancy special thing. So you're gonna, a network big time announcer. You're, yeah. you're cutting highlights? Yeah, I'm stuff? gone. I'm going to go do what I got to do. All right, so maybe, maybe we'll see yep. you next segment. Then. Next segment. All right, hurry back. TV Scott Van Pelt. And it's not exactly where's Waldo, it's where's Van Pelt. I need a password. I, I can't log in. <laughs> Scott spending a good portion of his night over in screening, scrutinizing every move of that Maryland Miami game. If only he could log in. Well, he's backwards. It's going backwards. You're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna stick around, see how this experiment turns Davis out. Simeon. This should this really should be great. And we are back on Sports Center. We're gonna check in live now with America's highest paid production assistant. Scott Van Pelt has been down and screening all night working on the Maryland Miami highlight. Yep. All right, Scotty, let's show the people the result of all your hard work tonight. We're, we're going to need a little more time here, Leaves. I, I, uh, I took some poetic license. Uh, I was under the impression that we were going to be able to truly document, and I was going to be able to learn the people up on Maryland. So I, right. I cut a highlight that was a little thick. It, it's apparently eight and a half minutes, and it shows every basket, and I'm going to need to pare it down a little bit. So in the meantime, yeah. uh, maybe you could show us the Clemson highlight. That's Maryland's wait, wait. opponent. Did, yeah. did you call Pants and ask for extra time for your highlight? Because I, I did ask our, I did ask producer Pants if I could have a, a skosh more time, but eight minutes he told me was a little a little right. hefty. So I'm going to pare it down now. Right. Well, I, I really have nothing to go for. Wait, let me find something to. Clemson. Bail you out. Clemson, BC. Clemson, BC. There That's around here somewhere. Roll that. We lost our light. Oh, there it is. All right, let's give this another try. Oh, Scott. Yes, Steve. We've we've been patient, but yeah. we can no longer wait. Really, brother, it's well, now or never. I'm out of material. All right, we're ready, and more importantly, we also have a light. And here's the deal: it's early. It's early in the ACC season, but. We, we doubt that many people are aware of the fact that if Maryland were to win tonight against Miami, that they would be number one in the ACC. You know about Carolina, you know about Duke, but if Maryland knocked off Miami, they'd be number one. So we're going to try to school you up a little bit on who some of these guys are besides Gravis Vasquez. But you probably are familiar with Gravis Vasquez. He's one of the only two players in America, he and John Wall, that averaged 17 points and six assists. And out of the gates, it was suffocating defense and great shooting. That's what Maryland's been doing on this winning streak. Gravis with a rip and a big dunk. He's a senior. So too is Eric Hayes. This Maryland team's been shooting it out of their minds. Eric's shooting 47% from three for the season. His dad, Kendall, was his coach in high school, and he learned him how to shoot it from deep. Not all seniors, though. Last year, Maryland lacked an inside presence. They got a couple of bigs, including Jordan Williams, a Connecticut kid who's averaging about eight and eight. They don't need much more than that. Terps rolling early. Another senior, Landon Milborn, who is flat out killing it right now, shooting 66% from the floor in his last three ACC games. He had 16. So did Gravis Vasquez. He buries the three. Story of the first half, 17 made field goals. Yeah, do your shimmy for Coach Hayes. For only and only 16 attempts for Miami. Here's a great pass from Vasquez to Williams to Sean Mosley, the Baltimore kid, who is just as tough as nails in his shoot with 59% from the floor for the season, and he's a guard. Maryland runs the flex. There's Adrian Bowie. Some call him Anthony. His name's not Anthony, it's Adrian. 28 buckets, 19 assists. So this team's really sharing the basketball. And in the end, it really became just a question of how much are they gonna win by? Huevos! Vasquez, another three. He had 16. Everybody's going to Bentley's happy. Gary Williams, in his 1,001st game as a coach, sees his Maryland Terrapins get to number one in the ACC. And the big story, really, right now for them, they are shooting it remarkably well. They shot 50% in this game. In ACC play, they're over 50% from three. They're first in the ACC from the floor. They're first in points differential. They've just won two straight ACC games by more than 20 points. And as you see, they are scoring more than 80 points per game. So leaves the moral of this story it is still very very early but this Maryland team that was struggling early in the season to find its way gelling as a team on a night when Cliff Tucker a guy off the bench that gives them a lot of points really didn't give them much they're still they're shooting it incredibly well and as of right now they're first in the ACC and I'm gonna come back and join you and try to help the, the other moral is if you want to do something you got to do it yourself right Scott oh, no we have very capable people I just was right. very hand I took a hands-on approach tonight all right bring a cup of coffee on your way back you got it Thanks, Scott Van Pelt